hello family thank you thank you thank you for staying glued to my channel talking to god with noin god bless you my name is noin eze today we'll be looking at signs that god is protecting you from things not sent by him i'll be right back welcome back some of you may be saying why will god be protecting me by taking away the things i desire by taking away the things he knows I love and cherish so much. What kind of protection is that? You're talking to God because you are angry. Forgetting that he is your father. A God that knows the end from its beginning. A God who was and is to come. A God that has known you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. He knows what is best for you. He knows what is best for me. So why ponder? Why get angry? He may be protecting you for what he has not sent. He may be protecting you from the things you cannot see. But he sees. He hears. He's the Almighty. And above all, it is for your own good. If he open your eyes to see, you will give him a hug. God is protecting you from the things not sent by him. Remember, the Bible also said, God's thoughts are not like ours. Neither are his ways. Let's see the book of Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. Say the Lord. And that's why God knows the devil's plan. Even before the devil takes a step, God knows. So he may be depriving you of that your inner desire because he has seen the plans of the enemy. Some unnecessary troubles could be God's ways of protecting you. Some broken relationships. Yes, that is a painful one. But some broken relationships could also be a way of God protecting you. These days, we hear about wives being beaten to death by their husbands. We hear of husbands being stabbed to death or poisoned by their wives. When the devil enters a family, it becomes problems. And some of these people, God has given them signs not to go into that relationship. But because they chose to keep deaf ears they go into such relationships and before you know it it becomes problem for them so let's rejoice when some relationships are broken it could be a way of god saying no don't step into that place he is protecting you because he is your father and so it is for open doors some open doors can be closed in a month because God, our Father, has seen where it will end. There's this job you've been desiring, and yes, you've gotten this job. But in a month's time, you were sacked. Have you thought about your boss using you for ritual? These things happen. I'm speaking reality here. God is our Father. What if he has seen it? What if he has heard your boss plotting something negative consigning you? And he turns it around for your boss to sack you instead of you dying in the course of this job. Our God sees, like I said, he's the Alpha and he's the Omega. So don't limit your mind to what God can protect you from. God can protect you from all forms of negativity. And he does it in his own way. He does not care if you want to hit your head on the wall. He does not care if you want to tear your clothes in anger, provided he has protected you, just like our earthly father, and even more than our earthly father. His plans is so great. He knows what is best for you and I. When you think all hope is lost, God shows himself. He leads you to the best parts. People may laugh and mock you in that process, but God's plans remains. His word is yea and amen. His word cannot return to him void. 
Remember the story of Abraham and Sarah. They stayed for years, but his words still came to pass in their lives. So it is not how far, but how well, like we say it. Wait, let God direct you towards the right path. And there are some things you may be expecting. God may decide to keep them away from you because you're still immature. You're not matured enough to handle that blessing. You are not matured enough to handle the grace. He keeps it away from you. And you'll be busy thinking, all oh, hope is lost. God has forgotten me. No. He is simply waiting when you are matured enough to carry that grace. When you're matured enough to handle that appointment. When you are matured enough to trade in such paths. So I urge you, try to focus on the good side. God may be protecting you. Are you always betrayed by friends? Do you sometimes see yourself as a loner? God may be protecting you. If you hear stories of what friends do to friends, you will know and appreciate it when you are being betrayed so that you can be closer to God. Betrayal sometimes drags you closer to God. I've been there before. I've been betrayed by friends. Today, who is my best friend? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Talking to you all becomes my hobby. So God may be saying something when you are being betrayed by friends. Draw closer to him and find peace. So let's quickly see ways God may be protecting you. Number one, through inner peace. Some people call it intuition. Or better still, when you just realize it. Like you have this deep feeling. Let's, let's say for example, you are about traveling to somewhere. And all of a sudden, some people also call it body tail. You start having this strange feeling of not traveling. And before you realize it, there is a news of an accident. Probably the car you are about to board had an accident. So when you realize it, when you have this intuition, that deep feeling, please pay attention to it. Don't silence that feeling. This could be God protecting you. Sign number two, when God deprives you of peace. When you have peace with this one person, I want to get married to this person, I have all around peace, and suddenly you lose that peace. God suddenly deprives you of this peace at the peak of it. You start having this, you know, uncomfortable feeling about this person. Please pull back. God may be trying to protect you. Listen to that feeling. Sign number three. Through people, some of us have these godly mentors. Those we look up to. Listen to them. They have greater wisdom. Not all of them, but... When they speak, because you have Christ in you, you would know if they are advising you towards the right path. So God can also be protecting you through your mentors, through people. When you go to them for advice, listen to them. Sign number four. God may be protecting you by not answering your prayers. <laughs> this is a very important one. You keep praying. You tarry. God, it is this guy. Lord, it is this lady. I have seen it. You have been showing me her face in vision. I want him to comfort. I want him to propose. My brother, my sister, God may be protecting you by not answering your prayers. Be vigilant. With these four signs, I hope I have impacted something to you. God may be protecting you. Stay vigilant. Be close to him. Listen to his voice. God bless you. Are you new to this channel? Stay glued for more important topics. Subscribe. If you're yet to, drop your comments and share this video to your friends. God bless you.